Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we discuss about linear regression algorithm that is using slope and intercept concept. Here, yeah, slope and in slope and intercept concept. We have to know about the slope form that is y equals to m x plus c. Here, yeah, m means here yeah, m indicates the slope and c indicates the intercept. Here. Yeah, when the slope value is infinity we have to draw in the graph in vertically and when the slope value is zero we have to draw in the graph horizontally values are horizontally again i will repeat that if the slope value is infinity the the graph will be as vertical vertical shape and when the slope value is zero, the graph will be in horizontal shape. Here, some steps are to be followed in slope and intercept concept. That is, the first step is if the in the given question are giving constant or inequality types, we have to change it into slope intercept form. That is, y equals to mx plus c in this form. Here, if the constants are less than or equal to or greater than or equal to type, in the graphs we get the solid line that is dark lines like this, like this line. This is the dark line that means solid line. If the constants are less than or greater than type, we the given graph in dashes line that is like this line dashed line. This is the dashed line. Again, I will repeat that in the steps. First step is when the constants are inequality types, we have to change this into slope intercept form that is y equals to mx plus c. If second one is if the constant are less than or equals to or greater than or equals to, we have to use the solid lines to draw the graph. Okay. And third one is if the constant are less than or equal to type, we have to draw the graph in dashed lines like this line, dashed line. Let us do an example problem. Here, given question that find the slope and intercept for first one is 5x plus y greater than or equal to 15. Second one is 8x plus 2. 8x plus 2y greater than or equals to 16 and third one is 3x plus y greater than or equals to 18 let us start the problem take the first one is given that 5x plus y greater than or equals to 15 here we know that here given question is in inequality type we have to change in the slope intercept form so here 5x plus y greater than or equals to 15 we get y y less than or equals to 5x plus 15 that means 5x plus 15 it is in the form of y equals to take this is an equation to we know that the slope intercept form that is y equals to mx plus c take it is an equation to comparing comparing equation 1 and equation 2 we get here m equals to slope we get m equals to phi and intercept c equals to 15 it is a slope and intercept for the given problem first two problem that is 5x plus y greater than or equal to 15 let us do the second one second one given that 8x plus 2y greater than or equal to 16 here we know that we have to change the inequality types into slope intercept form that is take 2y 2y less than or equals to 8x less than or equals to 8x plus 16 and y equals to less than or equals to 8x plus 16 by 2 we get that y equals to less than or equals to 8 by 2 x plus 16 by 2 this rise to y less than or equals to 2 1 2 4 that means 4 x plus 2 1 2 8 plus 8 we get that 
y less than or equals to 4x plus 8 take it is an equation 1 we know that slope intercept form that is y equals to mx plus c take it is an equation 2 comparing these two equations we get slope m equals to 4 and intercept c equals to 8 this is the slope and intercept for the this question that is 8x plus 2y greater than or equals to 16 we get the slope is 4 and intercept equals to 8 coming to the third problem that is 3x plus y greater than or equals to 18 or equals to 18 here y less than or equals to 3x plus 18 here take as equation 1 and y equals to mx plus c take as equation 2 equation 2 here m equals to 3 and c equals to 18 that means slope 3x plus y greater than or equals to slope is 3 and intercept is 18 here in the above all questions it is in less than less than equals to less than or equals to less than or equals to type by using this this mc values of all this question we get in the graph or dash solid lines that is like these lines for this problem because here constant type is less than or equals to less than or equals to less than or equals to type hope you like the video guys and i hope also you understand this concept also like share comment and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to be notified every update from my small studies youtube channel thank you guys hello guys welcome to my youtube channel hope you people like the video keep supporting me by subscribing the youtube channel and like share comment and click the bell icon to be notified every update from my small studies youtube channel thank you guys